Hey guys, it's Renee, and we are here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. We came across this self-driving system that we heard so much about and was curious to find out more. From the videos posted by Komu, uh, we were excited to have the opportunity to be here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia to speak with Komu's co-founders, and one of them is Wong Kianwei, and to take away with all the questions we have Jun. All right, Jun, take it away. Thank you, Renee. Hey, Keen, thanks for having us. Now, before we take Como out for a test, we'd like to ask you a few questions about it to help clarify to our viewers about what, what Como is and then what it can do for the, the customers. So first things first, can you tell us what gave you the idea to create Como? Oh, hmm. it, was, it started way back uh, in university, actually. Right. So it was like a final year project. Yeah, so with my partner, Ting, my technical partner, um, we were curious about how did um, Tesla do software lock. You guys know that you bought the car, it comes with all the sensors. The system yeah. 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 yeah, but then you can't use it, right. right? So you have to pay for the software and then unlock it, and then only then you can use for a feature. So we were wondering, like, what if we can do this for normal cars? And that was the whole idea that we started playing around with uh, um, spare parts, and then, third, and then we go into like the real car, and it all worked out. Yeah. So, what was the first car you, you started with? Uh, we started with Axia. It's a, a Perodua Axia. So, okay. it's one of the um, cheapest car and the most common car in Malaysia, which um, that is how we wanted to validate the idea, right? To, to, to see whether we can put this system for, right. for the most common car in Malaysia. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, like you, know, you mentioned when you first saw Tesla coming out with the whole system. Mm -hmm. In terms of which was more harder, the hardware or the software part that you were trying to figure out was going to be harder to do? Um, in the beginning was the hardware because right. we really started from scratch, right? Okay. So, and then slowly moving on, now more of the challenges would be the software features right. that we have to ship to our users. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so in terms of compatibility, mm -hmm. so what kind of cars would your system be able to pair with? Uh -huh. Like ICE or, or, or electric cars? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so most of the, if, if I were to answer your question, like um, ICE and uh, EV, oh, right. most of the EVs will believe that it will work because um, most of the components are already electrical. <laughs> right. So our criteria is that the brake, the steering, the gas, all has to be driven by wire. So as long as you can send and they can accept electrical signals, we can control. Right. Yeah. Basically, this kind of gives you a, a kind of an age range on cars that can actually be fit up your system, right? Yeah. In terms of yeah, but 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 then there are also certain criteria like oh, the right, like right, the right. signal protocols. Right. Yeah. So, uh, one 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 thing that we can't support is the Conti cars or the European cars. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because, um, because the the signals they are totally mm -hmm. different. I mean, you say you say Conti cars, so that's going to be mm -hmm. one of the limits basically for your system, right? At yeah. The moment, like, yeah. Okay, cool. okay. Any plans to expand into that? Is there um, any ways around that? Maybe not for the moment because the system that we, the whole system that we built now is like speaking different language. Right. So you can imagine Android and iOS. Oh, so now okay. we are more of like Android for the Eastern cars. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay, okay. So moving on, are there any legal issues, any implications for using your, your Mm -hmm. system on cars. Yeah, yeah, we get we get asked a lot <laughs> yeah, on this. Yeah, that's, that's, I think mm -hmm. one of the questions that everybody's gonna ask as well. Yeah. yeah. So um, currently uh, in Malaysia, we do not have a policy yet regarding okay. um, self driving. Right. So we have the um, um, the very um, long time ago um, road transport kind of act, but yeah. then we do not we did not actually have any upgrade. But recently we have this committee which is. Uh, formed by our Ministry of Transport right. and also our road authority, uh, authorize the authority. Yeah, so they actually um, crafted a guideline. Okay. Yeah, this guideline hopefully it will be turned into policy. Yeah. Technical yeah. limitation, yes. So, uh, right. so a lot of the car that that come into Malaysia with uh, equipped with this level right. two ADAS, right. yeah. they uh, work similarly. Right. But it's just that. Um, in our whole, um, what is it called? The car VTA right. Uh, body, right? right? They did not specify um, to check on the level two others. So basically, whatever like makes that, yeah, they come uh, from Japan, China, yeah, yeah. it can just be used here. Okay. Yeah. All right, so then will the original car safety features still be available with uh, the Como system yeah. on them? Yeah, yeah. so with, um, with our system installed, we technically do not um, remove or do not bypass the original uh, functions. Right. What we do is you can imagine as adding on another camera and another mm -hmm. layer of safety on top of the original ADAS. Safety. Yeah. So you, you won't get any like uh, you know sensor errors when we plug in the ADA system uh -huh. saying that oh there's a you know you're getting error messages on your So so when we first stop 
when we first supported a new car model, uh -huh. yes, because we have to match the signals. Right. Yeah, okay. but then um, eventually um, um, we shouldn't be shipping that to customers. Okay. Right. Yeah. So will this affect the, the insurance coverage of the car? Um, okay, to be honest, so far we really had accident. I mean, yeah. I mean this, we can't run away from this, Correct, right? Yeah. yeah, so it's driving. So, but then um, luckily for us is that um, all of the accidents our users are able to claim because okay. um, our system did not malfunction mm -hmm. and we are also, the, the, the features that we offer also belong to um, level two uh, autonomous, which their car come with it. Right. So technically, um, and also we do not remove the safety system, original safety. So technically, um, we belong in the same category. So right. that's why um, the insurance coverage is still there. So okay, yeah. if I get a system, how hard is it to install it? Do I have to do it myself or? or can, can you guys do it for me? And yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, for now, we only have um, our one HQ in, in, in Salango. Right. Yeah, but uh, how uh, for East Malaysia, actually we ship to Singapore ah, and, yeah. and other places as right. well. So how these users, they um, do it is that they just follow our um, video installation guide right, right. and then they can actually uh, install it within 15 minutes. Right, yeah. so any, anybody could do it. Yeah. Um, I would say requires <laughs> a, cert so, requires certain hands-on so no, skill. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, and so to add on to that, actually, we're gonna show you a little quick um, video where uh, the guys from Como are actually gonna do the installation process to give you an idea about how simple it is to get it done, rather mm -hmm. than you know, like you mentioned, getting to an installer. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess that's all the questions we have for uh, Kian here today. And I want to say a big uh, revolution thank you, of course, to Kian here uh, for allowing us to, to for allowing, having us here in Kuala Lumpur and allow us to have and do that test of the Como Assist Systems for ourselves. And I'm really excited, you know, and for now sure. it's time for us to head on to the road and test the Como system. So once again, it's me, Renee. And Jun here. And of course, we have Kenya. Thank you so much for joining us right here on Rev. Energy.